James chapter 5 verses 19 through 20. Brethren, if anyone among you wanders from truth and someone turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover multiple of sins. Again, this is talking about brethren. If anyone among you, meaning they belong to the family of believers, what does he do? Wander from truth. So we're not dealing here with the habitual sin. We're dealing with the person who no longer believes the gospel. And he says, if you go and actually return him. So this person has not went to the place where it's impossible to return him. Meaning this person has backslid. They didn't have, they haven't become the apostate yet. They have backslid. And he says that if anybody among you guys actually goes and bring him back, bring this unfaithful Christian back to God, then you're turning this Christian who at one point was good, now he became lost, you're saving his soul from death. Now, of course, James is not referring from physical death because this guy hasn't died. He's talking about spiritual death. Now, how can you save another Christian's soul from death if once saved, is always saved. I believe once you're saved, it is possible to lose your salvation if you live in disobedience to God. If you live in disobedience to God. Can the devil take your salvation? No. Can anyone pluck you out of God's hand? No. But if you choose to disobey God and to leave God and to follow the plan of the enemy and to turn your back on God, it's possible to lose your salvation. Hey guys, hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Abraham. One of the things that I want to share with you is about this deliverance ministers. Flood me. Uh, Sharp talk, Isaiah Sadiver, uh, and many, all of, many of them out there. You know, one of the things that you will notice or one first teaching among them is that many of them believe that a believer can lose salvation. And here's the thing, you need to understand that if you believe that a believer can be possessed by demons, definitely you have to believe that a believer cannot be possessed by the Holy Spirit. Because in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 through 14, the Bible says, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So, in order for them to teach their first teaching on a believer can be possessed with the demons, they must teach that a believer can lose salvation. So, if they believe that a believer can lose salvation, it is very straightforward for them to teach that a believer can be possessed. And that is why we, God's people, we believers, Bible-based believers, we believe that a believer cannot be possessed by demons because he is already possessed by God. Therefore, he cannot lose his salvation. Because the Bible tells us that we are sealed unto the day of redemption. A believer, a blood-bought child of God, is sealed until the day of redemption. Therefore, there is no way a child of God can be possessed. So all these men, you know, Fladmi, Shaftok, Isaiah, Sadifo, these are deliverance popular YouTubers who are propagating that a believer can lose salvation. And you can hear them, you can hear their testimony. They made videos about it on YouTube. And you know one thing about these guys, they have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they are leading thousands of people astray through their false teachings that a blood-bought child of God can be unsaved. And you know, thanks to uh, Good Hope, he has been able to expose uh, these guys for who they are, you know, he exposed their false teachings and he brought out the truth of through his teaching on how these people are bringing damnable heresies. So I am warning all of you how they, you know, if you are sincere about seeking the truth, you need to understand that these people, this men, they are not preaching the word of God. They are leading people astray. So you need to mark that one of the one of the marks of false teacher is when he teaches that your effort can get you to heaven or your power can get you to heaven you need to mark and avoid them 
They are not helping the faith. They are bringing damnable heresies. So you need to mark and avoid them. All right, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel, The Grace of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with you all. Amen.